Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm still here in the uh, in the refugee camp. Uh, in the last video, I did not uh, say um, what's the NGO that I'm working with. It's called Joint Help for Kurdistan. Uh, I leave the the website or, or Facebook page or some some link of it uh, here in the description in case you want to check out. Uh, what they do. Uh, the refugee camp where I'm working uh, in is um, it's full of Yazidi people. Uh, if you don't know anything about the Yazidi people um, I will I will leave yet another uh, link uh, below. Uh, there is uh, Wikipedia has already like a like a uh, like a page for the um, the um, the Yazidi genocide, uh, genocide, uh, which is uh, it's very recent. Uh, it happens uh, less than a decade ago when ISIS was here, and what I uh, what I'm working, uh, the people I'm working with, they are all Yazidis. All my co-workers are uh, Yazidis, and and the people at the camp, they are all Yazidis, and they are basically most of them are children or teenagers already. Uh, you, you see some adults uh, because the, some of them survived um, uh, the massacre committed by ISIS. Uh, others are from the actual village because this is this camp is located uh, uh, barely less than a kilometer, uh, less than a kilometer away from an actual village uh, that is called Bajit Kandala, and like the camp is placed north of this uh, of this village. Um, so yeah, there, there are. Um, I mean, there are adults, women and men, um, but mostly what you, what you see and what you may hear. I, I guess there, there will be some background noise and people. What you will hear basically are children playing outside. Um, you see the school buses as well. Like um, they they will pick up children and bring them back. Um, they they do go to school. Uh, and then the, and then here at the camp uh, they have basically where I'm uh, where, where I am right now this is my room but then the the surrounding area it's all like a clinic so they have like a, a like a wee laboratory and they have uh, a pharmacist uh, and they have uh, two uh, doctors and two nurses and uh, that's it and there is like uh, the person I spend more most of the time with is one of the co-workers uh, Yazidi as well uh, as I said and basically he works um, uh, he takes care of the whole thing uh, 24 hours uh, he's the one here uh, he's he's the one in charge of just keeping it uh, tidy and take a look at it and so on. So uh, this whole thing was because th this is um, uh, I, 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 this whole thing was because I wanted to talk about the Kurdish language in particular the Kurdish language as spoken here. Now I have I had studied before Kurdish language uh, not in depth uh, I, I knew the basics I had, I had a book about a uh, Kurmanji Kurdish that I was following, and um, and that's it. And and the, it's a, it's a pity because there are not too many materials about Kurdish language, um, which is a pity. Uh, there are there are definitely staff uh, around. Uh, and again, I found a, a good PDF uh, with nice material. Uh, but then when you come here and you see uh, um, this area, which again in the map, like if you take a look at the map of the distribution of the Kurdish dialects, uh, what, what will appear on the map is that this is Kurmanji area. And they say they speak Kurmanji, like if you ask them uh, what's your dialect or what variant, uh, variant of, of Kurdish do you speak, they will tell you they are Kurmanji. Uh, but then if you compare what you are told it's Kurmanji. Uh, if you see, for example, you might have seen uh, there's a Kurdi, which is a set. Uh, it's a it's a bunch of videos. It's a series of videos um, that teach very well uh, Kurmanji Kurdish. But again, 
what they teach is not what they speak here. Very likely, I'm assuming uh, their Kurmanji, the one in, in their Sakurdi, and the one that is, for example, in the book, I found uh, the PDF, uh, I found uh, Kurmanji Kurdish for Beginners, I think it's, it's called. Uh, very likely, uh, they are uh, Kurdish people located in Turkey and they may have like an entire different variety of Kurdish even though they will say it's Kurmanji and then when you come here it's uh, it's very different like absolutely different and they they might even identify some of the things you say that you studied as Kurmanji they will identify them as um, Sorani, for example, which is the southern uh, dialect of Kurdish uh, in more, especially in Iran. It's 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 basically in, in Iran um, where it's mostly spoken. Um, so there is a there is a huge there is a huge difference, uh, and I'm assuming that no one is really taking care of of that in terms of uh, linguistically. Uh, talking about this and put it uh, in information like because it's definitely definitely not what's on the map uh, whatever they show you on the map is way more complex than that yeah d maybe do not trust uh, maps about Kurdish uh, dialects or languages because um, one of the problems for example is and I can understand that is that there is a lack of uh, there is a lack of education, uh, like uh, there is no Kurdish, like there is no standard Kurdish, for example. Uh, Kurdish language has been in used, even in literary used, for quite a long time, but uh, there is a lack of a centralized institution that, um, that preserves the language or the main dialects. Uh, it's a language that is so much alive that um, there is no institution controlling it or keeping an eye on it as for example there are other institutions like if, if we talk about language uh, as in um, uh, Italian, Spanish, French, uh, English, German and so on there are institutions even though even though uh, they might not be state institutions uh, I mean movie making s uh, standardizes languages uh, literature uh, standardizes languages and, and many other factors. So it's not it's not only like a state thing that will standardize a language. Many other things will, but uh, none of those factors are, are applying really to Kurdish because the Kurdish people uh, they don't have a state. Um, Yazidis don't have a state themselves, and maybe they should get one, considering uh, how they are treated. I mean and so there is no like uh, there are kurdish uh, people in turkey making maybe movies or 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 printing a stuff for example a uh, poetry or books or something in um in their kurdish how does iraqi kurdish sound uh, depending on the village because there is no centralizing factor everything is spread out which is good i mean if i'm not complaining i'm just informing you that if you want to uh, if you want to learn kurdish uh, and i hope you do um if you want to learn kurdish very little of what you learn will help you uh, on the field uh, and it's it's best to uh, come here and do uh, and, and maybe talk to people and take notes. I mean, it's good. Like if you, for example, take this PDF or the the Dersa Kurdi videos, and you watch them, you're definitely going to get some good information, and you will be able to to recognize and understand some of the things. They, if you speak like the, you are taught in the books or in the in the Dersa Kurdi uh, videos they will definitely understand you uh, but you will not understand them uh, because they may be familiarized with other um, with other Kurdish dialects um, because of their contact with other people uh, but you won't uh, you will not be able to understand them so uh, just take this um, into consideration and um, yeah maybe I will 
uh, maybe I will uh, make um, another video more in depth uh, when I have more notes because I, I, I was taking notes yesterday about the, the Kurdish dialect spoken here by the Yazidis uh, in Kurdistan um, but I don't have still like a full body of, of notes that like enough material as to as to make like a full video with uh, this is the standardized uh, Kurmanji version that you are taught somewhere uh, on the internet or in PDF or in video and this is the Kurmanji as spoken by a Yazidi community uh, here in northern northern Iraq uh, when I have enough notes of that I will make I will make a video um, so again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope it was helpful or I mean, I don't know if it, the, any of this is helpful. I don't even know, uh, like if you want to learn Kurdish, but anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, consider subscribing, uh, if you are, you, you, you haven't yet. And I hope uh, you take a look at the channel. Maybe you will find something of your interest as well. And um, yeah, thank you very much and see you next time.